What's up guys, here's Dunia, hope you're doing well. Today, I have an interesting video. I'm gonna see how much horsepower I can extract out of a 2.5 liter inline 5. Let's get into it. First thing I'm doing is setting our bore and stroke, which is gonna be 82.5 millimeter bore by 92.8 millimeter stroke. And this is gonna be a 2.5 liter engine, that's what it comes out to. A dual overhead cam, 5 valves per cylinder, ALSI head material, bullet steel crank, light to titanium corner rods, forged pistons, balance shafts. Last setting quality as well, setting our mass up. A little heavier on the crank so it idles a little lower so it's a little more mass not really advised but what we're doing it's fine as we set up our cam profile and our quality as well as we're using vvt on all cams single turbo unit small push control plus 15 quality fuel system direct injected per cylinder race configuration intake manifold we're running this engine on hydromath it's the easiest to use to make big power plus 15 quality Turbulent race header, no cat, no first muffler, no second muffler, plus 15 quality. Now we can move to the top end and change our year up to the top spec we have. Now RPM rev limit is going to be about 10,400 RPM. As we see the engine blowing itself to pieces, but we have to lower boost. So we're already on 1,200 plus horsepower, which is insane. Now let's start addressing some of the issues we have on the flowchart. As you can see some of the issues we have is our header is too small and our intake manifold is too small. Now the header I'm not going to increase that too much because I want this thing just to uh, just to settle in a little bit after I adjust all the other parameters and then I can go back individually and then change all the other parameters. And like it thus. Now we can move back to the top end as well as check our boost change our cam profile again just a little higher then increase our compression up to about 10 8 or 11 in this case is perfect for what we're doing we can ramp the boost in to get to my number we are so damn close 2200 2300 2400 oh it blew up i think we can make the rest with the stiffness come on yes we're there yes awesome don't worry about any of the stresses that's not really what we're looking at that we can't change so now let's paint this engine now oh, this engine is going to be a bit of a funky color oh my goodness look at that freaking turbo that thing is ginormous as always guys do do consider to like comment share and subscribe because it really helps me out thank you now the color we're using for this engine i think is going to be a goldish color i like that purple a goldish yellowish color there it's that nice orange color now let's put it on everything else on this engine i do think it's gonna look awesome on the intake manifold but I'm not doing that it's gonna be too much just a little bit too much so what we're doing we're putting a timing cover we're gonna put it on the headers as well that's gonna be an interesting look That looks awesome. Now we're gonna do our favorite thing in these videos. Let's run this engine and see what we're doing. So we're gonna do a pool looking at the engine. And we're gonna do a pool looking at the graph. Just so you have two, day, two points of data, you can compare visual and sound. Let's look at the other maps, like a compressor map. This thing is well in the green zone, that is brilliant. Then we can move to our efficiency, which is looking awesome. Can check out our timing looking good as you can see the purple is pretty good it means it's a bit fat rich but it's fine we don't mess with that too much then we can see our AFR or fuel efficiency in this case we're looking fuel maps looking really good I like what it looks like now and our flow chart just to explain what and how the engine flows and is it good is it bad flow etc but let's run this engine
sounded brilliant. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day.